I, I know I'm only like three questions in, but I'm just, I'm just baffled by it. Like, like how many people actually think, like, think like this. It's crazy. This is just a warning, uh, you might lose a few brain cells while watching this, and if you do, I'm very sorry. It's just a fact. Ich mag den Notebook nicht und ich mag auch Beyoncé nicht. Und außerdem hasse ich romantische Komödien nicht, wenn sie gute Filme sind, was sie leider meistens nicht sind. Und deswegen ist das Genre halt so ein bisschen im Verruf geraten, weil die meisten sind halt ultra belanglose Scheiße, die super vorhersehbar ist. Everybody likes the Notebook. Everybody likes Beyoncé. It's just a fact. Everybody likes the notebook. Everybody likes Beyonce. Yes, mistress. Man, I wish I could make declarative statements like you do. Boy, if only I had a vagina. Okay, I really don't like this one. This is her it's just a fact face. Can you see the fact just coming off there? How truthful that looks. Damn, that bitch face. Oh, do I <laughs> I paused it. <laughs> Please stop. Just please stop, okay? Who? Everybody likes The Notebook. Everybody likes Beyonce. Is that some kind of American slang? If only there was some way to determine if that was true. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Tell me lies. Am I not allowed to have an opinion anymore? And by the way, everyone's free to their own opinion. Nobody has to like Beyonce, nobody has to like rom-coms. It's up to someone's individual opinion, and that's what makes everyone unique. I do mind repeating the question, I was a long way away. Remember what I said earlier about individuals? Who <laughs> went in one ear and right out the other, didn't it? You're a fucking idiot. I'm not going to dignify this nonsense with an irrational response. Every time you show up in this stupid video, I'm going to replace you with Stalin. Because fuck you, that's why. Really, really, it's a fact, Mrs. Yellow Neck. What the fuck does Beyonce have to do with romantic comedies? Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, oh my god, stop fucking lying. No, I prefer Big Time Rush and Justin Bieber. Fuck off, you stupid bitch. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Honestly, I mean it. Go fuck yourself. How many, how many seconds are we in? 20 seconds. We're 20 seconds in and already I want to fucking shoot myself. Fuck my life. So, suck a dick. Please die. I want to hear the cries. Just saying, uh, this must be a, like, a bunch of fucking basic bitches because they think everyone likes Beyonce. That's like me saying everyone likes fucking memes. I feel cold. Your statement is wrong, woman. So just stick that in your head. Shit, you're completely right. I have to hate romantic comedies. If I say I like romantic comedies to anybody, they will straight up crucify me. You guys are really spot on with this. Uh, everybody likes rape. Everybody likes murder. It's just a fact, you know. I, I, I'm a big fan of those two things. So, obviously, women have to be too, right? That's how it works. So, uh, we're here in the local playground, see if we can rape some children. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Where are you getting your facts from, 
Blondie. Okay, I don't know where you're getting your facts, but no. Unless there's a metal band out there that goes under the name of Beyonce, no. Wrong on both accounts. No! No. No, it's not. No. 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 Um, how does no grab you? What world does no mean yes? No means no. Well, I'm glad we actually agree on one thing. Mm -mm -mm. I would say that I have to cast my vote on no. False. Well, obviously it isn't. No, they don't. No, it's not. No, bitch. <laughs> Let me close my- No, we don't. No, it ain't. Are you an idiot? No, it's not a fact. Do you- do you like Beyonce? I don't really know much about her, but she's fine. Okay. And, uh, do you like the movie The Notebook? Never heard of it. Why do you make- It's not a fact. You, you freaking feminist. It's not really a fact. Yeah, sure, whatever. Who? Oh. It's not a fact. It's not a fact at all, it's entirely subjective to the individual. And that is called personal taste. I feel that that statement is just a statement attached to the question about the whole thing about rom-coms. I thought this was 36 questions for men, not 36 statements directed towards men. Okay, the hypocrisy of this just cracks me up. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a joke or not. I don't really know why you would think this is true. This looks more like a cringe-worthy attempt at a joke. That was a really crap joke. I am very amused. It's <laughs> not even a question. But yeah, that's true. Have these women ever met a man before? Jeez, did you go to school? Okay, where are you getting your facts from, woman? Right. Who died and made you queen of pop culture? Okay, well that's not a fact. That's not even a question. That's just your opinion. I don't even know what that has to do with feminism. I mean, like, what? Do you like Beyonce's music? I guess it's okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, do you like the movie The Notebook? Never saw it. <laughs> Her face. Oh, so everybody likes what you like, eh? Well, you being the basic white chick, I wouldn't be surprised you like Beyonce in the notebook. But you're a basic white chick, so you like that shit. It's just a fact. You know, I think I'll get Tildeer to respond to this one. Why are you making a bunch of unsourced claims on the internet? So I just gotta say, CITATION NEEDED! As for the bonus content from the Lake of Fire and Brimstone, I can honestly say that I've never watched the notebook. But from what I've seen and heard, it sounds absolutely dumb. As for Beyonce, there is nothing positive to say about that overpaid, low-skilled stripper. You need to get your quote-unquote facts straight. Sorry to burst your fact bubble. Do you like Beyonce, or her music, not the actual person? Um, no, not at all. Okay. Do you like the movie The Notebook? Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm guessing it might be pretty good. <laughs> Generalization! Kind of a bit of a generalization, and this video is already gonna piss me off. Stop making generalizations about me, because you can. Generalizations, and absolutes, everyone. Uh, okay, this is probably my failing, but I did not recognize a question in that statement. But what does that have anything to do with a question for a man? You could ask that, you, that's not even a question, really. First off, that wasn't a question. That isn't a, even a fucking question. Those aren't even questions, those are statements. Wow, that was a great fucking question, except for the fact that it wasn't a fucking question! Do you like Beyonce? Uh, itty bitty? Okay, and uh, do you have- do you like the movie The Notebook? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm guessing no. What would Beyonce do? Men aren't the only ones that don't like rom-coms. Like, a lot of women don't like rom-coms, like me. Is it apparent in your extremely diluted minds that men are this alpha dog character who only like 
sports movies and the 300 and when they go out downtown they just go out and bite things well we are that and many other things so what yeah Okay, that makes no sense. I watched it three times, trust me. I've watched it, it's freaking horrible. It's a fact because you said it. Watch out for this one. This this one this one's fucking funny. This this girl's funny. No, Beyonce's overrated. Get the hell out of here. That's not even a question, you dumb broad. Go make me a freaking sandwich. Sheesh. Where do they get these people? Do you like Beyonce? Mm, who doesn't like Beyonce? I don't know Beyonce very well, no. That's true, and um Question number two is, do you like the movie The Notebook? I don't know The Notebook. Men create rom-coms, men film rom-coms, men star in rom-coms, and men are always the hero in rom-coms. Now there's facts, and then there's projecting your shitty opinions onto the rest of the world. I, for example, hate Beyonce much less than I hate Lil Wayne. Of course, the real reason why I hate both of them aren't because they're so less boring and mainstream, but because they're black. Do you like Beyonce? She's alright. And do you like the movie The Notebook? I haven't seen it. 2 plus 2 equals 4 is a fact. BuzzFeed usually sucking ass is a fact. Liking Notebook or Beyonce is not a fact. Most guys hate romantic comedies because they fucking suck, and guys t only tend to like Beyonce because they want to stick their dicks in her. Hold on a second, wait. <laughs> no, it's not. That's not true. Nobody likes The Notebook. Some people like Beyonce. Nobody. Well, we don't feel to hate rom-com, it's just that we don't like it. Do you like Beyonce's music? Yeah. Oh yeah. And do you like the movie, uh, The Notebook? The Notebook? No, not really. I haven't really heard of it. Okay. Uh, I do not know how these two things relate. Uh, I do not prefer notebooks. I much prefer computers. And Beyonce, well, I cannot speak about her music, but I really do enjoy watching her butt jiggle when she dances on stage. Nope. I hate both of them. I have proved you wrong, blonde bitch. Do you like Beyonce's music? Yes, for the most part. And do you like the movie The Notebook? What is that movie? Uh, it's... A, like a romance. Yeah. Which is quite well known. I have seen it. It's a bit gushy. I don't like The Notebook, and I don't like Beyonce. What do you know? I dislike both those things and have a vagina. It's possible. Not seen. I, I've not seen The Notebook, and I don't really know who Beyonce, Beyonce is. I'm assuming a singer. I've heard the, the name, but I don't know who she is. Also, I've never seen The Notebook, and I fucking hate Beyonce. Notebook movie sucks, and I'm not a fan of Beyonce. Not everyone. I like neither. Not everybody likes whatever The Notebook is. That's not bias at all. This must be the first opinion being objective fact that I've heard of. I hate both of those. I hate Beyonce. I hate The Notebook. I don't. And that's just a fact. No. I hate The Notebook. I hate Beyonce. It's no. not a fact. I hate The Notebook, and I hate Beyonce, so uh, there's that. Nobody, nobody likes The Notebook. The Notebook sucks. I swear, every time I watch one of them, it's like the guy is going to jump off a cliff if the girl asks him to. It's nuts. Everybody hates feminists. Everybody hates you. Everybody likes Bill Blur. It's just a fact. And all girls like Eno. That's a fact. Guys, my opinion is a fucking fact, okay? Okay? Everybody likes Hitler because I like Hitler and that's a fucking fucking fact, okay? Do I need to come over there and shove a fucking pencil up your fucking asshole? Everybody likes Fight Club. Everybody likes Gorgorok. It's just a fact. Every woman loves my penis. Every woman wants to fuck me. It's just a fact. It is also a very well-known fact that everyone likes Linkin Park. Everybody likes Die Hard. Everybody likes Chris Helmsworth. It's just a fact. I like the like at the B-Day album. After that B-Day album, I kind of I just wasn't a fan of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even Oscars like Beyonce. Badgers even like Beyonce. Deers like Beyonce. Any, any, if you look out to any of the riff, the woodland animals in the forest near where I live, um, they will all be singing Beyonce. You, you have no idea. See you later. She's a pretty good song. I do like Beyonce. 
I like Beyonce. I like... Dude, I love Beyonce. She's not for me. She's not all that in a bag of chips. Oh my god! They fucking know! How the fuck do you know? I fucking love that fucking movie and listen to Beyonce every motherfucking night! How do you know, you fucking satanic worshippers? <laughs> you got us. Men have been faking it. We actually love romantic comedies. What's not to love? Stories about a self-centered, stuck-up bitch who gets pursued by tons of men that are beneath her. And finally she meets that one guy with perfect abs, perfect chin, perfect smile, perfect hair, perfect, perfect happy-go-lucky charm who exists without a care in the world, except that he's lonely and falls head over heels for this entitled self-centered bitch and then spends the next half hour of the movie chasing after her, trying to impress her with one outrageous antic after another, finally winning her heart and marrying her, giving her babies and, every, and everything she has ever wanted, all just because. Hey, what's not to love about that? I don't know what they're getting at. I mean, this is so trivial stuff. Look, it's true that I don't often watch romantic comedies, but it's not because every time I try to put one in, my dick explodes out of my pants and slaps the remote out of my hands. It's because every romantic comedy I've seen is the exact same fucking movie. Look, here's what you can learn from rom-coms. If you look like this guy, there's a pretty good chance that at some point in your life, you may have a shot at fucking someone that looks like this. But I don't look like this guy. I look like this guy. Also, we secretly love cat videos on YouTube. I mean, what's more stimulating than seeing a cat running around chasing its tail? That's so fucking adorable. So fuck Hamlet and the Olympics and Citizen Kane and the Super Bowl. Look at that cat scratch a mirror. That's just priceless. Cat secretly wants in the video. I always went to the video. This statement essentially is saying everybody likes Beyonce, everybody likes The Notebook, that's just a fact, and anybody who says that they don't, it's because they're like covering some shame. Covering some shame. And you want to know what else we love? We love listening to you ramble on for three hours about nothing. Ladies, your three-hour stories about 50 different people we don't know, having pointless social interactions, are simply riveting. Better than any story by John Hemingway. Oh, and our absolute favorite is when you come home from work in a pissy mood and then proceed to tell us about that bitch Kathy that you have to work with. Oh god, hearing what a bitch everyone is in the office except for you is better than when you go down on us. Beyonce isn't a romantic comedy. She's a singer, pop star. And she uh, broke up Destiny's Child, so no, I don't love her. Not everyone likes Beyonce. My preferred types of music are things from Merle Haggard to Jabbleroth. Jabbleroth is a, I suppose, medieval heavy metal thing. And Merle Haggard is an old country singer. Very famous in America. Oh, and The Clash. They're pretty good, too. More of like a George Strait, you know, King Chesney here and Watson person. We like explosions. And we like a bunch of shootouts. Oh, the fuck are you out of your damn mind? It's just a fact. It's just a fact. Everyone likes feminists. Everyone likes Asians. It's just a fact. Everyone likes get wrecked cringe compilations. It's just a fact. Yeah, yeah, it's just a fact. It's it's a fact that's been documented through thousands of fucking years, through all of time, and it cannot be challenged. What? Resistance is futile. Your life as it has been is over. From this time forward, you will service us. Mr. Worf, fire.